What's up everybody, it's AJ with EachOther.com. Today we're gonna be checking out these bull ring anchored tie down points, these are heavy duty. They also retract when they're not in use. Let's check them out. These tie down points are gonna be great because they go in the stake pockets in your truck. So there's gonna be one on each corner of your truck, so four of them in total when you get them in this kit. They're gonna make it easier when you're using your rat straps to hook up and strap down the load that's in the back of the truck a lot easier than trying to climb in there and do that. The other nice thing is that they retract so you can push them down when they're not in use. That way they're just completely out of the way. It's not an eyesore. You don't have to worry about them getting caught on anything when you're throwing something in the truck. Looking a little bit more closely at the anchor tie down points, just want to show you how they function. This is with it pulled up and ready for you to put your S hook in there. You just push down on it, then it goes into place. Like I said, now it's underneath this portion here so it's not sticking up and in the way. It's pretty well hidden. I like the, how easy it is and then to pull back up. You just pull until it snaps. You hear that snap there and you know it's gonna stay up like that. The loop of the anchor point is gonna be made out of a durable stainless steel. And it's gonna have a weight capacity of a thousand pounds. So keep that in mind when you're tying down your stuff. Also, the bottom portion is made out of a nylon and it actually does match our rails on the Ram and Toyotas. Now we know what the tie down points are good for and how they're gonna help you out. Let's see how it is to install them. The installation process isn't gonna take that long. This is exactly what we're gonna drop it in here in the steg pocket. Now you do have to modify the plastic cover just a little bit, so we had to cut it out a little bit more. We used a razor knife. They also offer a part that you can get from them that's more of a Dremel that'll be with a drill that you can take a little less time to do that, but the razor knife worked just fine. Now with this fully loosened up, so you can see how much it separates these screws here is what I loosen, and you're just gonna angle that into the pocket. With it loose, we're gonna try and get one of these tabs underneath the lip, right there, and then you can just push it down into place pretty easily from there. Just by kind of tilting it down, and you can loosen those screws a little bit more if you want that plate to drop, just a bit more. Now, with those two of those tabs done, we got the last one I'm just gonna push down and it goes into place. Then we can put those screws back in. Something I wanted to point out is if you back the screws all the way out and they're not attached anymore, and you're trying to run them back in there, it's not gonna work. But what you can do is pull up on this portion and that's gonna bring the assembly up so that you can put the screws back into place. Make sure you don't over tighten the screws in the bed now you can see it's in there and it's not going anywhere and then we're going to just repeat that process for all the other stake pockets around your truck overall not too bad to install it took a little bit of time to modify the plastic bed rails with the razor knife but we got it done we got them in there i like the way they look they look factory i like that i can reach up here to hook up my rat strap when i go tie something down i have to climb in the bed and get to those hard to reach spots and when it's not in use it's hidden right there you can't really see it well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.